customers were saying, it's a fad, it's not going to last. And I was saying, I've been through this. <laughs> I went through this 30 years ago. It always had to be Vince Wind in the first game because he was the iconic character. Of My first original was Way of the Exploding Fist, which was basically the first multi-move um, beat-em-up on home computer. That's probably the title I'm sort of, with Discworld 1, maybe that's what I'm most proud of. Like in the early days when I started, everything to do with games was programmer. Nobody knew what a creative director, a designer, an artist, or a musician, or anything was. It was all, in terms of games at least, the programmer did everything. And I said, I didn't offer him any money at all. I just offered him, I just gave him a game design. That's how we got the deal. <laughs> You just start poking numbers into video chips and sound chips and see what they do, and occasionally the whole you know, machine would blow up, literally. Terry was actually incredibly easy to work with after we, uh, you know, after we got to know each other. You could talk to him on a creative level, and he loved that sort of conversation. His only concern at any time was to make sure you didn't step on the fans' toes. I can, yeah, I can't, I can't imagine that. It, sort of, it takes five hours to get from... It's running locally to I have some kind of binary record deliver. That's uh, that's amazing. We have to put in some disclaimers that no harm was ever done to pixelized sheep in this game and stuff. <laughs> and, um, and they opened up with with rents when knocking on the TV and now poor user guy Mark he, he he literally had a heart attack because he thought he was in a nightmare land of been working on this and suddenly it's in his TV because he didn't he didn't even know that trailer existed that we had that so it was quite bizarre <laughs>